It was a case of deja vu at Willowbrook Park in New Britain as Ledger squared off against the St. Joseph Cadets in a rematch of last year's 84-49 loss for Ledger. With Ledger being the juggernaut of the ECC with an unbeaten season of 12-0, many saw this as the top-seeded Colonel's chance to not only repay St. Joseph for last year, but to bring the Class M Small Championship home. After both teams went scoreless for most of the first quarter, St. Joseph's Mufasa abdul Brasier would put the cadets on the board with their first touchdown of the game. By the end of the first quarter, one thing becoming clear was that Ledger was having trouble, having an unusual number of missed passes, and being unable to convert on fourth down plays, turning the ball back over to St. Joseph. Ledger, it seemed, could not get into a rhythm. Hope was not yet lost, however. With 1.20 remaining in the half, Jojo Schumacher took a screen pass from Ty Ebden and put the Colonels on the board, putting the score at 21 to seven. This was followed by Philip Thomas's interception with less than 20 seconds on the clock in the half. Ledger would take a knee and bring the game to half. After both teams fought each other to a standstill in the third quarter, the fourth quarter proved to be Ledger's Achilles heel. After a St. Joseph field goal and a touchdown with 5.42 remaining, Mark Morsek intercepted a pass by Ebden and returned it 42 yards for a touchdown only one minute and 28 seconds later. Unlike Valley Regional Old Lyme, there was no five minute comeback for Ledger. With a final score of 37 to seven, Ledger's undefeated season was over with a 12 and one record. So, you know, it hurts. It's, it, there's a pit in my stomach, and I'm sure that pit's going to stay there for a while. And, uh, but, but, you know, if, if it didn't hurt, you know, then, then there's, there's, you got to ask yourself, why are you doing it? Um, you know, I do it for, for these 50 guys, you know, that, that uh, give me just as much as I give them. And, uh, you know, that's why you do the things that you do. Uh, you know, a great bunch of kids, they appreciate what, what you do for them. They appreciate the effort and the time. Uh, to see them go out and battle the way they did. You know, I'm a proud coach today. Uh, I'm a proud coach. I was proud each and every week we went out on the field this year. And uh, I was proud of them each and every day because these guys did it right. They did it right in the classroom. They did it right in the hallways. They did it right in the cafeteria. Uh, and they represented us well. But, uh, you know, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt for a while. Come on!